Welcome to Floss Workshop Art. This is my first YouTube video. I hope you enjoy it. So today we're going to be making the standard DL size envelope, which is 220 millimeters by 110 millimeters. So in order to do that, we first of all need to make sure our paper is the correct size. The size that we need is 251 millimeters by 251 millimeters. Make sure that you line up your paper square to the edge of your paper cutter. I use the score easy board and make sure that you're lining up the edge of the triangle with the little notch on the right hand side if you're using this particular model. To get the DL size you're lining up your sheet at 164 millimeters and you're scoring your first line downwards from the arrow. Rotate your paper clockwise and line up the score line that you've already made with the bottom of where the little triangle comes down. And again, rotate right, line up the score line that you've made in the same way and repeat that until you have done all four sides. I use a separate notch and corner punch to take my little triangles away. Some, some envelope boards already have one of these incorporated in it. But line up the V that's created on the corners and punch those little pieces out. Do that all four times. You can actually use scissors to cut out the little notches as well, but just be careful that you don't cut into the lines beyond the triangles. Fold all four sides in and use your bone folder just to make that crease really sharp. If you've created a particular pattern on your envelope, you might want to just work out which side you want as the bottom and which side you want as the top. Then mark where you want to take that piece off so that it enables that to become the bottom part of your envelope. There's a couple of ways to take off the excess piece on the edge of your envelope. One way is to be able to score it across, which will enable it to stay parallel to the rest of the envelope. Mark the outside envelope flap in exactly the same way as you did the inner flap, making sure that you're holding it parallel on the board in the same way. You can make this flap as long or as short as you desire, depending on the style or design of your envelope. And then bring it across to your paper trimmer. Fold it across across the edge and then take it off. Now if you feel confident to leave out the scoring section and putting it straight across to the paper trimmer, then obviously make sure that the envelope is square and do it in the same manner. Then use glue or double sided tape to secure your envelope closed. And thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video.